you put in a lot of work and it might not show off right away. And that's when most people get discouraged and give up. But like the process and the preparation is everything. I can feel it like I'm about to take off. The work is gonna start showing on Saturdays. Kobe, four month old Kane Corso. He just wants somebody to play with him. As you can tell, he just he just wants somebody to show him some attention. That's all it is. Isn't that right? The first time I saw him, I'll never forget. I got him from a breeder in Illinois. She brought me like three puppies and he was the only one that was like mellowed out, like chill how he is now and he just sat on my lap for about 45 minutes while I was talking to her about all the information and everything. And I knew from day one, like he was the one that I wanted to keep with me. If your dog throws up and it looks foamy, it's just because he's hungry. Don't freak out. Nothing's wrong with him. He's just hungry. We have our battles back and forth just because, you know, he's learning. But at the same time, I just got to remember I'm learning, too. This is the first time I've ever had, you know, something that I'm solely responsible for. He's praying a little bit. He, he's a toughie still, so he got protection, but he's willing to learn. So I fill the bowl up, and it's gone for five minutes. And it, he never throws it back up or anything, so I guess as long as it's not messing with him, it'll be straight, I guess. Sounds crazy, but he's actually my best friend, like literally. He's with me all day, every day. <laughs> like even when I'm just in there playing the game, he's sitting down, sleeping right next to me. So yeah, I'm just excited to, you know, keep seeing him grow and, you know, keep keep teaching him and him learning from me and, you know, us building the bond together. Uh, she pulled out the, the photo album. <laughs> I'm obviously not here as much as I would like to be, but you know, it's cool because whenever I am home, I can go sit with my cousin, my aunt, grandma, and you know, it's always a good time. I don't think I've ever seen this picture before. The one with him laying there with me. You're probably just about a month old. It was huge. My pops, he's he he's special. I mean, that's really uh, the best way I could put it. Like he's he's in my corner no matter what. Still to this day, I can be in Kinnick with seventy five thousand plus, and I can pick out his voice from from everybody in there screaming and yelling. Without him being in my life every step of the way, like I wouldn't be here because I know like. There's kids out there that don't have a dad, you know what I'm saying? See, I've always been laid back, to out the way, for real. See, that smile has always been there. <laughs> I was really blessed to have two parents in the household with me at all times. The sacrifices they made, uh, you know, missing work, uh, traveling, taking me clear across country uh, so I could get to a camp, so I could get to a practice, to a tournament. Everything that they've done for me, I just don't want to let them down. That's what pushes me to try to be the best. For when it shaped me who I am, obviously I didn't go to high school here, but it laid the foundation and then, you know, helped me build off of it as I kept getting older. It's important to me to remember where I came from because at the end of the day, like, if nowhere will take me, I know I'll be welcome in Fort Wayne. Like, I know that's where my roots are. Being able to come back and, you know, be recognized uh, when I go certain places, like, it's special and it shows that, like, there's really, like, true support here in the city. Dad duties are off the table now. Finally time to go get some work in. What I came up here to do, not to pick up your bathroom break, Kobe. Yeah. 
y'all know, but it's okay. You wanna, what you wanna do? Oh, okay. All my athletes, get your hips right. Growing up, I played travel, AAU basketball. One of my friends on the team, Trey Galloway, um, who's at Indiana playing basketball now, we played on the same team and he lived in Culver, Indiana. One summer I went up there, did some basketball workouts with him and just seeing the campus and the people that I met while I was up there. Yeah, I like, I want my parents to see it. So as soon as I got home the next weekend, we went back up there. We started building towards trying to get me there. It was definitely difficult just because the military aspect of it, I had never really done anything like that before. That whole first week I was on the phone with my parents like, hey, like I wanna come home. Like this isn't for me. Like I, I don't think I can make it here. But you know, that just goes back to what I said about them, just pushing me and instilling that will to be the best. You literally go and you start at the bottom. If you don't do anything, you'll stay at the bottom. Like you've got to put in the work to get to the top. Just like anything in life, and I think that's really the biggest thing that it taught me. Results don't come right away. You know, if it's anything worth having, then you're gonna have to put in the work. You're gonna have to make the right sacrifices to be successful. Football was really the best because those boys out there, like we'd go load the bus with 30 guys and we're going to play a team with like 75, 80 dudes on the varsity roster. So like it literally we had to fight and scratch to win every game. Not just me, but everybody that was a part of those teams throughout my four years there. We like left our mark on the program in the city of Culver. Your whole lifestyle literally revolves around him. <laughs> It's still worth it. The process of recruiting is crazy. You're going on all these visits, the best food, the best like presentations, you know, all the uniform pictures and stuff. The high school coaches, my parents, they really sat me down and taught me the way to see through the smoke. <laughs> That's a lot of what recruiting is, you know, selling dreams. And then you step foot on campus and it's like a total 180. Because I had, you know, like the Ohio States, the Notre Dames, the Tennessees came calling. Instead of falling in love with the logo, you really, really have to get to know the people. If you talk to these coaches, you'll find out who the real ones are. At the end of the day, I get they have a job too <laughs> that they have to do, but still the, the good ones are able to put that aside and really put your well-being first. And I think like I was one of the rare schools in America, you know, that actually does that. <laughs> It's rare, like not even heard of, <laughs> actually, that you see a coach at one school for, I think this KF 20, 24th, 25th season. I know like the same coaches I go in with and the same ones I leave with and learn and grow from. 
I'm really, really happy with my decision. The support we get is second to none, especially like we're the pro team in the state. You know, us in Iowa State, when you're in that tunnel, you see yourself walking out on the big board. It gives you chills, for real. At the end of the day, you're just playing the game you love. There's just 80,000 people watching you do it. When it starts to get to the trash talk and like the sold out crowds, that's really what you do it for. All right, bro, we out of here. Come on. As a kid, you dream of those opportunities. It's just cool finally getting to live them. Out here in Florida, I'm finna get some good work in this week. Uh, day one kicking off. Uh, finna start up. Let's get it. Let's rock out. I'm so fortunate and blessed to, you know, be able to work with the best, doing the best drills, the best exercises, you know, in one of the best facilities. It's rare that you're going to work out. You see Leonard Fournette just casually mingling amongst everybody. Then you got Brandon Marshall sitting there watching us do yoga. That's, you know, a stepping stone to success. You know, like I can always look back on that week and say, yeah, I got better. I met really good people. That humidity, something different. <laughs> that, that, was, that was really the only downside. Man, I took two steps outside and full sweat. I was down there literally showering four or five times a day. Going crazy. <laughs> I see why they all in shape. I see why they all running four twos and four threes down, <laughs> down south. Cause that, you ain't got no choice but to be in shape with that heat down there. Just talking with all their trainers, like you could tell like, they really care and like they really know what they're talking about and like want the best for all those kids. So it was a really fun experience. And I know, you know, everybody there would probably say the same exact thing. Good, good work. Good, that's easy money, boy. Come on back with it, right? <laughs> yes, sir, Greg. Me and him, we've been battling since the Metro days. Two rounds, y'all, two rounds. Every time we played them, like, I knew that's who I wanted to go against. I'm sure he would tell you the same exact thing because we always brought the best out of each other. Just seeing his success start to pay off, knowing, like, we're on that same path together, I mean, it's, it's pretty sweet. You're a kid, you want it to happen, but you're like, I can't get to the NFL. But just seeing him, as well as other people, doing what we do at our age, it's, it's special. Drop it! He's on his way. I'm definitely, you know, looking forward to hopefully hearing both of our names called in, in the draft here in the next few years. Just one more in there. Uh, Craig. Nice to see, rotting this line. But both of us on the foot inside on the outside pressure on the foot here. Inside pressure here on the foot here. I can see it. What? When you get a player from Indiana, whether it's basketball or football, like you know they're gonna be fundamentally sound, they're gonna know how to work hard, they're gonna know how to be coachable. Like all the little things that people don't pay attention to, Indiana athletes bring to the table.
we might not be the flashy four, two, four, three, five star dudes from down south, but with the emergence of football opportunities that are coming to Fort Wayne specifically, I think it just speaks to the athletic prowess that we have. Are you from Indiana to get in contact with Fort Wayne? We don't get Tennessee, you know what I'm saying? Seeing the dudes under me from Fort Wayne like make it to where I am right now is like cool to me. I want the dudes below me to be better. That means like, okay, my path could have potentially helped them and they could have learned from what I might have did wrong. You know what I'm saying? Like, I want to see everybody succeed at the highest level, like no matter what it is that they decide to do. My mindset is if I'm gonna do something, why not try to be the best? It all goes back to trusting your process. If you have a good process, then success is bound to happen. Most times when you don't reach what you want, people think it's the goal that was too far out there, but nine times out of 10, it's the way you're going about doing it that you need to go back and fix. It could be just one little tweak and now you're here instead of there. And if I do what I'm supposed to do, then everything will fall into place. anybody for real like my smile is kind of what makes me who I am you know it just stems from you know just appreciating everything my sister mom and dad it's obviously you know who I do it for I just want to make them proud and you know want to leave a legacy for them to remember the NFL is it's definitely the the goal. Like I want that. I want that bad, and I know I'm gonna do what it takes to try to get it. I dream about getting that phone call. Just thinking about it gives me chills. Five years from now, if I had it my way, I'd be in the NFL. I'll have a happy family. You know, Kobe will still be right here by my side. Um, you know, making my parents proud is, you know, that's that's ultimately what I want to do.